Hello everyone, my name is Eric Vedler. I was born in Norway of an American mother and a Norwegian father. I have American citizenship now, but it had always been the dream of my Norwegian grandmother that I spend some time in Norway learning Norwegian. Here's a picture of my grandmother at her 80th birthday, me and my grandmother, during the school year 1978-1979 when I did go to Norway to spend that school year that she'd always wanted me to do. My family's from southern Norway, actually southeastern Norway and the Oslo area where I was born. But at the time of the school year 78-79, my uncle uh, was working in the very, very, very far northeastern corner of the country in a little uh, department called Sødvaranger, right on the Russian border. Here you can see a map of uh, Western Europe and if you zoom in a little bit closer, you can see the part of uh, Europe that I'm talking about past east of the North Cape of uh, Norway, the northernmost point of Europe, and right along the Russian border. This is, of course, during the height of the Cold War, so it was a fairly tense time, especially considering Norway uh, was a NATO member and it was one of only a very, very uh, short land border. Other than military outposts on both sides of the border, uh, Russian and Norwegian, there were very, very few people that lived along the 120-mile uh, Norwegian-Russian border, save for a particular boarding school called Svanvik Folkehøyskole, which is, you see, the uh, class membership of about 70 students and 20-odd uh, 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 faculty. Here's a picture of the fairly nondescript border between uh, Norway and Russia in those parts there. Uh, along the Pasvik River, which defines the border uh, where our school was. This is a view looking approximately from where the school grounds were across to a town of about 50,000 people in Russia called Nickel, uh, named appropriately after the nickel mines that they have there. Cross-country skiing is, of course, a popular uh, winter-slash-spring uh, outing, and here I am at the uh, Birkebeiner race at the finish line. Uh, also, during Easter time, there's a big festival that the uh, Sami people, the indigenous uh, Laplanders, as we call them in English, uh, up in that part of the world uh, host. Uh, this is actually a Sami-inspired uh, uh, tourist uh, jacket that I'm wearing here with the, the traditional clasp. And you can see in this picture a reindeer race, which is a popular activity to do. You get one reindeer in an open sleigh. And uh, I didn't do so well in that particular race, but it was sure a lot of fun. The crown jewel activity that particular year uh, was a trip to Russia. Across that land border, very, very, very few people uh, did it. You can only go across by foot in general, unless it's some sort of a special military uh, uh, activity. And so our class uh, planned a school trip. Here's a picture of the uh, Russian language book that uh, I took a class from. Uh, it's uh, to learn Russian. Uh, this uh, textbook is in Swedish and of course I was learning it in a Norwegian class so that was kind of an interesting challenge to learn the Russian from Norwegian uh, using a Swedish textbook. So our school field trip in uh, May of 1979 crossed by foot the land border with uh, military guards with uh, very appropriate machine guns and the guard towers around us uh, coming in. Uh, the guards were mostly concerned uh, not so much about my citizenship as to any kind of contraband I may be bringing in, especially blue jeans, into Russia at that time. We got onto a bus into the town of Nickel and then got onto a train over to the city of Murmansk. And here's a couple of pictures uh, I took during uh, the, our time in Murmansk. It's a city much larger, a couple of hundred thousand people or, or more, I believe. And it's a large naval port. It's, I think, the third, at the time, the third largest Navy base in, uh, in Russia, up there on the Barents Sea and you weren't really allowed to take pictures so much. I did try to sneak a few in, this, the back side of this, uh, of this uh, a concrete statue commemorating uh, soldiers lost in the Second World War is here. As well as a picture of me and my uh, roommate, uh, Rolf, who's standing there in the sweater looking down. He was kind of the introverted chap that he was. I hope you enjoyed a quick trip up to Northern Europe along the Russian-Norwegian land border. Uh, so, ha de bra and Dos Vidania.